Hello friends, this video on transport in plants and animals part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when we talk about cardiac cycle, it becomes important to talk about cardiac output. Now since very beginning, I have been talking about that the heart is a pump. So the job of heart is to pump blood to various parts of the body. It has to pump blood to the lungs, it has to pump blood to different other parts of the body. So. I mean, it, this is also important to know how much blood is pumped out by the heart. So, in order to measure that, we have this you this term called cardiac output, which which define which is defined as the volume of blood that is pumped out by each ventricle per minute. Now, when we say that the heart pumps out blood. So, which part or which chamber of the heart is responsible for pumping out blood? The ventricles, because ventricles are the pumping chambers. Auricles only receive blood. So, ventricles, how much blood they are pumping out every minute. So, that amount of blood will define the cardiac output of the human heart. So normally it has been found that 72 cardiac cycles take place in one minute in a healthy adult. So in an adult, so in one minute, if you see 72 cardiac cycles, no one cardiac cycle consists of, so if you talk about one cardiac cycle, what all happens in one cardiac cycle? So one cardiac cycle will consist of a joint diastole, which is followed by auricular systole, which will be followed by a ventricular systole. So this is one cardiac cycle. So like this, there are 72 cardiac cycles which take place in one minute. So you can just imagine the rate at which this uh, contraction and expansion of the auricles and ventricles take place inside the heart. So knowing how many cardiac cycles take place in one minute, we can also make an estimate of how much volume of blood is pumped out by the ventricle in one minute. So let us try to calculate the cardiac output. Now as per this, we can say that 72 cycles take place in how much time? 72 cardiac cycles happen in one minute and one minute is 60 seconds. So how much time will take for one cardiac cycle? So one cardiac cycle will take 60 by 72 which is equal to 0 0.8 seconds that means one cardiac cycle one sequence of joint diastole auricular systole and ventricular systole this will take 0 0.8 seconds now it has been observed that in one cycle one ventricle pumps out around 70 milliliter of blood so in one cycle it has been observed that one ventricle gives out or pumps out 70 milliliter of blood. So how much would be the cardiac output? So cardiac output will get multiplied by 72 that is 72 into 70 which will be approximately 5 liters. So in case of a healthy adult 5 liters of blood will be pumped out by the ventricles in one minute. And what happens to those 5 liters of blood? It gets distributed to various parts of the body. So that is the purpose of the heart, that it pumps out blood and it then distributes it to different parts of the body. It sends the deoxygenated blood to the lungs and it sends the oxygenated blood to different tissues of the body. So that is the concept of cardiac cycle and cardiac output. See all these things might appear to you a little tough but you see they are really interesting and I feel when you have started learning about circulatory system you should know all these things that how exactly the heart functions. So if you are clear with all these basics now it will become very easy for you when you go to your higher classes to understand the same things in more depth. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.